Okay, so in this video we're talking about first order differential equations still. Uh, and this time we're going to talk about uh, substitutions um, and how we can remove y. Um, I've already read out the question because it's quite long. Um, this is the differential equation we're trying to solve. It's in terms of y and x. Um, and we can't use any methods we've previously learnt to solve it. So we can't uh, re uh, rearrange it so we've got y on this side and x on this side. There's sort of um, no way of doing that. We can't use integrating factors because we need to have it as dy dx plus something times by when y equals something in terms of x. And because this y squared, there's no way we can rearrange that to get just a y times something because the y squared is going to be in the way. Um, so it's not solvable. So the question instead asks us to use a substitution, which we can do to this equation to make it into a sort of easy equation. This one here we could we could solve quite simply. So sometimes we've got to use that and that uh, to, to make this. Um, and the way we do that is by trying to replace the y's. We try to remove the y's um, in this equation. So we've got to get rid of this y here, uh, this y squared here, uh, and this dy dx term here, which is really a y term. And we do that um, in a sort of normal way we use uh, substitutions, it's just to rearrange this in terms of y so we can plug it in, substitute it, and get rid of those y's. So let's start by rearranging this for y. So if we top this by x, we get uh, y is equal to uh, x times z, which is the first thing. So we can now easily put that in there and there, so that's done. Uh, to get with the dy dx, we just take this equation here and we differentiate it to get dy dx. So we do dy dx. So we've really done uh, d dx to both sides. Um, I'm going to write this out in quite a formal way just so we can see what's going on. Um, it does help in the future if we do it in this formal way. So we're differentiating a product here. So it means we differentiate the x and we times it by the z left alone. And then we leave the x alone and we differentiate the z. Oh, sorry, we switch to x still. There's an x there. Okay, so dx dx is just a 1, so it's just a 1 here, um, and then we've got a z. That's just because differentiating x, differential x is 1. Here we leave the x alone. Uh, dz dx is normally written as dz dx without the bracket. So that means that dy dx is really just z plus x dz dx. As you differentiate the x, get a 1, differentiate the z, get a dz dx. Uh, we can now use these two things, this one here and this one here. To substitute back into this equation uh, and hopefully we can rearrange it somehow to get this. So the dy dx is this, so this dy dx becomes a z plus x dz dx. So I've just replaced that with what it's equal to. Over here we've got it's equal to an x squared uh, plus a 3y squared, so y is xz squared because the y squared and that's all divided by 2xy so 2x and y is xz okay so we're going to take this equation here to shoot what this is what this is and what this is otherwise it's the same so this is being replaced here here and here we're going to have to work on this now somehow we're going to make this thing look at this thing so let's just start by simplifying this side a little bit x squared just here uh three x squared, z squared, square both things in there. Down here we've got 2x times x, x squared, z just there. This bit here hasn't been touched, so let's just write that left hand side back in. Oh look, uh, we've got x squared in every term, so we can cancel that from every term. That's going to give us a 1 here. And we're getting closer. If you look back to what we're trying to get to, we're trying to get 1 plus z squared over 2z. We've got 1 plus 3z squared over 2z. Um, we've got this x dz dx term here, and there's a z here. So if you zoom me that z, if I move it across the other side, will somehow cancel down. So what we'll do is we'll take this z to the other side and make it a minus z. Uh, we'll try to put this together now, because presumably that thing there is going to cancel down to this side, because the left-hand side is now correct. So this must cancel to this. So we times by 2z. We get 2z squared here. And now it's all over 2z. I've essentially times this one up, get 2z squared over 2z, and so that gets to go together. And then, yeah, here we go 1 plus 3z squared, so it's going to become, take away 2z squared, just a single z squared over 2z. And there we go, we've got um, what we wanted to get, which is. Um, 
the solution's been done. So see how we did that? We uh, rearranged the substitution for y, we then differentiated it, and we plugged back in and rearranged it. Now we can now solve this. Um, solving this is nothing new. This is what we've done in uh, previous questions. So it's this stage, it's the new bit. To solve this now, we've got to think, is it a, um, a rearranging uh, to separate the variables and integrating? Or is it a uh, integrating factors? Can I can I write it as dy dx plus something times by y? Or in this case, dz dx plus something times z. Um, because it's z squared, it's pretty clear it's going to be the first type. But we're going to be um, rearranging this to separate the variables, get all the z's to one side, get all the x's to the other side. It's fairly easy to see how you've done that. Uh, you just times by 2z and divide by 1 plus z squared to get 2z 1 plus z squared on this side. And we divide by the x to get 1 over x on this side, times by the dx to get the dx on this side, and then integrate both sides. How good is the integrating skills? Uh, over here, we should know by now this is ln of x. Um, over here, with any fractions like this, it's always worth checking, does the bottom differentiate to give anything like the top? The bottom here differentiates to give, well, nothing there. This differentiates to 2z, so yeah, it's exactly, the bottom differentiates to give exactly the top, so this is ln of the bottom. And then we can put plus C on, doesn't matter which side you put it on. Um, and we're almost done solving this. Um, if we take exponentials at both sides, so an exponential here and an exponential here, that's essentially the whole thing. So that's really like E ln X times E C. And this thing here, well, the E and the ln are going to cancel out, aren't they? So that's going to be 1 plus Z squared. Ooh. Back up to the top. So I've got 1 plus Z squared. And over here I've got, oh, E and the LUN cancel out, so I've got equal to X. Um, now EC is just a constant, because it's just E times some number we don't know. So what we do is write A, instead of writing E times C, so E to the power of C times X, I'm just going to make this new letter up, uh, let A equal this, just to make the sort of terminology easier and to work up here easier. And then we can rearrange, we've got Z squared equal to AX minus 1. Uh, you can square root that if you like, but oh, we were trying to solve this differential equation dy dx, weren't we? So although I've solved the z one, at this point here you change again, and now you solve that equation like you would then normally. You go back to using your substitution and replacing it for y, so you can get a, a solution to this one in terms of y. Um, so we take the z squared, we go over here and go, well that must be a, a y over x squared. times by the x squared and then we can square root that uh, and that's your answer for that um, it doesn't look pretty normally when we get to this end but what we've done, the how bit we've done is transform this to this and then additionally the question you ask over here but additionally what, what the question tends to say is then is then therefore solve it and then replace it so you get a solution in terms of the original y There'll be another one of these because uh, these are long questions. This is the bit that I really want you to focus on. The Can you get the substitution and change one differential equation to another? Because this bit here is what we've been doing before. If you've been okay with uh, your other types of uh, differential equations up to now, then you can do that bit. The last bit is just a bit of rearranging back for y, which is it can be sometimes a bit awkward, but it's um, definitely not the hard bit. The hard bit is this bit here. So focus on that bit for today. Um, I put this bit on here, so when you're ready, you can have a look at that bit next. But um, if you're not sure about this bit, this is the bit you're going to be focusing on first. Okay.